guys, so today I'm here with my summer nail polish favorites, and I always try to put up my seasonal nail polish favorites on the exact, like, calendar date that the season starts. So, summer has officially started. I know it doesn't seem like it because it's super late in June, but... I have a bunch of nail polishes to show you guys. I'm not saying that these are the colors you have to wear in the summertime because these are mostly bright, like, neon colors, but these are the colors that I typically reach for in the summertime. And this is ironic that I'm doing a nail polish video because my nails are not painted today. But I'm going to show you all of these colors. I have them uh, set off by brands or, like, sectioned off by brands. I'm not going to, like, describe the color too much, but I am going to show you because I have a lot, so it's going to take a while. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my OPI colors. So I have four OPI colors to show you and I'm going to go ahead and get started with those. This first one is called Senorita Rosalita, which I believe is from like the Spain collection. This is a really pretty like hot pink color with little bits of gold and coral flecks in it and duochrome. I think this is really pretty on your toes in the summertime. Next one is one of OPI's like best colors and this is in Cajun Shrimp, which is like a hot corally red color. It's more on the red side, but it's really, really pretty on your toes. I've had this on my toes already. Love this color. These two are both from the Shrek collection. This one is in Funky Donkey, which is just a basic cream purple. It needs to be shaken a lot because I haven't worn it in a while because it hasn't been summer, but I love this color. And then this one is in Ogre the Top Blue, which is just a basic cream blue color. Really bright, really fun. I only have one Nicole by OPI color. And this one is in Respect the World, which is another one of those, like, blue shades. This one is almost the same as Ogre the Top Blue, except for it has more of a green duochrome underneath it and a lot of sheen and metallic sheen to it, really. Then I have two China Glaze colors. This first one is probably my absolute favorite color in the summertime on your toes, and I've worn it for the past three weeks now. And it's Flip Flop Fantasy, which is, like, a bright hot pink with a hint of, like, salmon-y coral in it. Love this color. It takes about four coats to get super opaque, so I recommend putting like a white underneath it. And this next one is for Audrey, which is like the famous Tiffany blue color. That's basically it. It's like a Tiffany blue color. It's amazing. Then I have one Butter London color. This one is in Trout Pout, which is a really great salmon-y coral color. This is so weird that I'm putting it in the summer favorites because I think this came out with their spring 2012 collection, but I love this color. It's amazing. So pretty. Next, I have three Sally Hansen brand colors. This first one is from their Extreme Wear Hard as Nails collection, and this is in Pacific Blue, which is a really pretty, like, Pacific Blue. It's got, like, a little bit of a purple hint to it, but it's, like, a really pretty periwinkle blue shade. And then these next two are from the InstaDry collection. This one is in Magenta Motion, which almost reminds me of the OPI color, except for it is more of like a fuchsia-y magenta pink color. Really pretty for your toes. And then this one is in Snappy Sorbet, which almost reminds me of the Butter London color, except for the Butter London color has more of a pink hint to it, while this is more of an orange color. Really like this color. Then I have two LA Girl Disco Polishes. This first one is in Psychedelic, which is just a yellow, and these are black light nail polishes, which means they look really cool when you're under a black light or you're bowling or something like that in the summer. So this is Psychedelic. And this one is in Dance Craze, which again almost reminds me of the Butter London Polish or the Snappy Sorbet, which it looks a little bit more like the Snappy Sorbet one, but it's a little bit more coral, salmon-y. It's really, really pretty. Now I have four random brand polishes. The first two are more pinky shades. This one is a mini Zoya polish in the color Izzy, which is like, again, almost reminds me of the OPI color. This one's a little bit more spot on, more pink, and more of the magenta color. This is, again, more spot on. It's more of like a purpley pink, though. Really like this color. This one is a Deborah Lippman polish from the Lippman collection. This is like a smaller one, and this is between the sheets, which is like a purple-based pink color. I have a Sinful Colors polish. This is in Rise and Shine, which is like a teal, more on the green side side, really pretty cream color. And then the last polish is an Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics or OCC polish in Grandma, which is a basic standard coral. I've had this on my nails for the past week and I just recently took it off. So that's it for my summer nail polish favorites. I hope you guys got some ideas on some more polishes you may want to add to your collection. I love all of these polishes and I've worn them all at least once. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!